Hi everybody and welcome to my A3 Prijs Harelbeke prediction. The parkour for this year remains largely unchanged and runs over 204k, covering a bunch of uphill cobble sections, also featuring in the Ronde van Vlaanderen, such as the Paterberg and the other Quaremont. For those who remember last year's edition of the E3, it was the Paterberg where Laporte and Van Aert broke loose. Looking at the winners of the final 10 editions, it may be clear we're looking for a typical one-day specialist here. Also important to mention is that except for 2012, where Bono won in a reduced bunch print, half of the recent events were won solo, with the remaining four editions being won in a sprint of two or three riders. Here's an overview of some of the riders lining up with previous experience in this race, including six former winners, Van Avermaat, Sagan, Stibar, Van Aert, Asgreen and Kwiatkowski, and some riders with an above average number of top 10 finishes compared to their participations, including Oliver Nase, Christophe Laporte, Mathieu van der Poel and Biniam Girmay. In my opinion, those to watch for this edition of the E3 Prijs Harelbeke are Jumbo Visma, Jumbo Visma and Jumbo Visma. They are lining up with a big boy team here, comprising at least five potential winners. The strength of this lineup is simply amazing. Alaphilippe Philippe and Lampard at Quickstep, especially Lampard's form seems to be on the rise, no doubt working towards Roubaix top form. Welles and Pogacar at UAE also don't need an introduction. And at Jaiko Alula, this race suits Stibar, but given that this season he hasn't been firing on all pistons yet, I'm going with Matthews instead. At Alpes in de Koning, I made a mistake to give Mathieu only three stars for Sanremo, and we all know how that turned out. Girmay doesn't seem at his best yet, but he's definitely top 10 material. Bora Hansgrohe is lining up with a strong team, and I'll mainly be eyeing Meus and Pollitt, both having confirmed their form in the opening weekend. And then there's the Kung Maduas duo at FDJ. Both in form, especially Maduas has been impressive, proving his form by taking second in the Strade Bianchi earlier this year. Mohoric at Bahrain is top 10 material wherever he starts. And at Ineos, it looks like Turnal will be back. And for no particular reason, I'm expecting Ghana to take it a bit easier, which leaves Kwiatkowski, a former winner here, and Sheffield, who's going to be my Neos man for this race. At Total Energy, my eyes are on Turgis, whose form seems to be on the up, having just taken P9 in Milan Sanremo and ending in 12th and 13th in the E3 in the previous two editions. At Trek, we have the Stuyve Pedersen duo, both of them confirming their form in Milan Sanremo. Sepp van Marke will be the man to watch at Israel Premier Tech. He has a good history with this race, and I don't expect him to compete for the podium, yet the top 10 should certainly be possible. Then we have Christoph at Juno X, who came fourth in the Omloop earlier this year. He never did well at the E3 Classic though, only making it into the top 10 in one out of his seven earlier participations. A final mention goes to Mathis Louvel at Arkea, who did really well in the Omloop. Based on their historical performance in this race and their recent form, I can't but give four stars to Pogacar, Van der Poel and Van Aert. The jumbo trio of Laporte, Benoit and Van Baarle each get three stars. Pedersen, Mohoric and Maduas get two stars. And finally, Stuyve gets one star. Looking at the team strength, you'd expect the race to go to Jumbo Visma rider. They can send somebody up the road who may be strong enough to win. They may control the race or they may simply blow it to pieces. In all of these, Wout van Aert should be able to save his legs and to be in the decisive break. So I'm picking him for the win ahead of Pogacar and Van der Poel. Thanks for watching and see you soon for my Gent Wevelgem prediction.